Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so we talked about the fact that when you write your program or when you cr create an application, you're going to the application is going to use all kinds of all, all kinds of data. Even when you create your variables, you're going to store all kinds of data in your variables. You're going to store numbers in there. You're going to store numbers with decimal points in there. You're going to store strings. Okay, strings are basically a series of characters um, joined up, to, uh, jumbled up, or joined together. Okay. Um, you're going to store all kinds of you know different different kinds of data and all these you know pieces of data okay they all have a type or or, or name given to them right so you can have numbers and strings for example in this video let's talk about one of the data types okay one of the types of data you're going to have in your program and that's simply a number right like it's it's an it's a class it's a number classification and it's what we call int int okay it really stands for an integer right but then the the technical term for it is int int and that's simply creating a variable you know let's say h and then storing in a number like let's say 12 right so this will be considered an int right an int will be like a whole number without any decimal point so in most programming languages when you're creating variables you'd have to specify the type in on this line for example you'd say int H, right but no you can't do you don't you we don't do this in Python in Python you just give it a name and a value and it will automatically know what type of data you're storing in there so the way it knows that you're storing an int in this age variable is that this is going to is this has to be a whole number without any decimal point so any whole number without any decimal point is considered an int the program will automatically know that Python will, will automatically know that this value over here is an int so you can even have negative 12. It doesn't have a decimal point, all right? Decimal point. So that's, uh, yeah, I think, I don't know if I said decimal, de decimal number, you know, you know. If I did, I'm sorry. But any number that doesn't have a decimal point, it's considered an int. So negative 12 doesn't have a decimal point, it's considered an int, right? So that's how it's able to figure out that this is an int. And you can go ahead and print it as always. So print out the content of age. And we see that it's negative 12. So that's one type of data int okay int that's the type let me use a comment over here comment start with a pound sign and anything from anything that's, that follows the pound sign all the way to the end of the line becomes a comment so um, int okay is the data type for it int you don't have to specify it in your program it automatically knows that so this is one of the data types you're going to have in your programs um, the, the, the reason why this is important is because you, you know there, there are some, you know, functions you can perform on, you know, certain numbers, and you know, there are some functions that work with only certain numbers, and there are some functions that work with only, you know, so for example, there are functions that work with int, and there are functions that work with, work with the other type of types of data, for example, a string. So that's why it's important to, you know, at least have an idea of what type of data you're working with. But you know, for the most part, Python keeps track of what type of data you're storing in there automatically. But for you to understand, you need to just know that know that okay, this doesn't have a decimal point, so this is an int. Um, it's a number that, that that doesn't have a decimal point, so it's an int. All right. In the next video, we'll cover another data type called float, and that's a, that's basically uh, numbers with decimal points. All right. So if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then. Bye bye.